Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And today we are continuing to, through this cold, cold, almost like a gigantic frozen desert. It's a tundra or something like that. Um, there is tons of wild bears to get. We're trying to get to that tower. It has been a very long journey to get anywhere close to it, but I'm working on it, okay? I'm working on it. What do we got here? Uh, just a branch. I don't need the tree branch. Ooh, there's something here. Ah, ah, oh, hey, 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 there's you. Hold on, yeah, get uh, get away from here, you monster. Here, let me go ahead and use the flaming sword against you, if I could, that'd be great. Boom, and it just instantly takes you out, it's so cool. Um, Dragon Bone, wow, that's a lot of damage. Uh, What should I get rid of? I don't know, we got a lot of, oh, this stuff's about to become on fire. Uh, Whoa, now it's on fire. <laughs> Not what I wanted. It's just still more damage than what I have right here, but it's okay. Hmm. Well, then I might go ahead and get rid of this one. I don't know. Uh, I could just go ahead and get rid of the spear. The spear is starting to get less and less useful. I'll pick that up. Oh, that's so cool. 45 damage is great. Uh, is there another one near here? Sure, it sounded like it for a second. So maybe there's something here. You see how this is just like this? Usually that means you can set it ablaze. So what I'm gonna do, oh. Oh yeah, okay, my, uh, my cold resistance went away. So we're gonna quickly do a couple things. First off, Eat a couple of these I mean. I actually just need to eat one. Boom, gives me some health back too. Not much, but I didn't need much. And then flint, where will flint be? That's a luminous stone down here is flint. So if I drop that, I should be able to use uh, maybe something that'll actually create a spark. Oh geez, uh, whoa. I guess I there was a stone there. Thought I was supposed to set it ablaze. Aha, you found me. All right, thank you for the Korok seed, sir. That's 17 of them. I almost dropped the stone on them. I think I did. It's like, eh. Oh, sorry there, little dude. So I just gotta remember, take a look at the top left every three minutes. Try to keep in mind when I need to eat more of that stuff. And that should keep me nice and good. Is that a bear? That is a bear, all right. Whoa. Is he coming for me? Is he peaceful? Oh, he is not peaceful, is he? Uh, No, he's not peaceful. Uh, Hey, hey uh, hold on. And we got... And that's not it, like the entire forest is about to attack me right now. What are they doing? Stop attacking me. What? Come on, come here. I mean, I don't wanna have to fight you, but you aren't making this easy. What is he doing? He's like trying to wear me thin. You know what? I'm gonna use this big old vocal club against you. Ugh, I missed. Oh, but I still got you a little bit. Come on, keep aim on him. Boom, that hurt. That definitely did. I'm gonna go ahead and use the sword against you in a moment. Ready, set. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, didn't quite work my way. Ow, that was all of my health. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Simmer the fruit? Yeah, sure. Jeez Louise, dude. You know what, fine. That bear walked away, that's good. I didn't wanna bother him. You shouldn't have bothered me. Uh, Fire up. Yeah, God, I mean, just instantly turned to dust like you deserve to be. Uh, this is a nice broadsword. I think I already have one of these. Uh, okay. Oh, I see you over here. You know what? You know what? I missed. Gosh darn it. And, hello. Oh, hey, big guy. How are you doing? Just turn around there, just hanging out with me. Leave me alone. What did I do to you? Exist? That's a really awful thing to attack me for. You know what? You know what, oh, look what I got. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why'd I do that? Why'd I do that? Why'd I do that? Come on, all the mistakes were made. Get this thing out of here. Look at this giant wiggling arm. I think I could use that as a weapon or something. I think I just wanna leave. I don't wanna deal with these guys. Fight each other, will ya? Yeah, that should be enough entertainment. What are you gonna get from me? Are they still following me? No, they gave up. They're like, oh, whatever, I don't have the stamina. Gotta do more cardio. I'm not gonna bother you, you're adorable. You're a little blue fox. Oh, it's cute. Oh, hey, there's like a little town over there. And hopefully it's peaceful. That would be appreciated. I can use some peacefulness after everything trying to eat me. Uh, be careful there, Mr. Moose, that guy's not nice. I don't like this, the sneaky Lizolfos everywhere. I don't know if I should be taking the normal path or not at this point. 30 seconds left until I have to get uh, more resistance. This is actually a longer, run over there than I thought. I'm a little worried I will start running out of energy, or running out of the, uh, the resistance soon. So I'm gonna have to start using the stamina that I just sort of leave to the side. 
Okay, 20 seconds left. I wanna make the most of it every single time. So as soon as it ends, I'll bring up the next one. Then I'll have a little bit more of surviving because I can, uh, okay, I'll just start eating away at my health. Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. And then I, uh, no, no, no. Gotta go here. I wanna do the ones that restore not as much health. Can do this more restoring one later on. And if I find a place to cook again, I can make a lot more. I just didn't think I was gonna need more than what I made there. But looking like that's not the case. So what is this right here? There's like a little log cabin. I really hope whoever is here is totally peaceful and is just willing to chill out with me. That'd be great. Okay, Um. what about this rock? This could be something or it could be nothing. Oh, wait. Hold on, let's try that again. There you go. Uh. Oh, it's something. Not the something I was hoping for, but it's something. Amber's good, I'll be able to sell it eventually or something. Oh look, somebody's making a giant snowball. Hey, how are you? Uh, oh, you're an old man. Hey, old Giddums. Nice to meet a fresh face in these parts. It's not every day I get a company this high in the hills. Can't give you a warm welcome, but how about a game I made up? Snowball bowling, or as I call it, snowling. How does it work? What a sweet boy to show an interest. If you don't know the rules, I can explain them in a flurry. At the foot of the hill, we have 10, count them, 10 pillars of pins. Foot of the hill. I see some trees. Uh, give that snowball a good hearty toss from the tippity top of the hill and try to knock over all the pins you can. Oh. The ball, the ball may, takes, might take a few detours on its ride down the hill, but any pins it hits when it reaches the bottom are done for. There are no cooler, there's no cooler feeling than smashing all the pins at once, but see for yourself, go on, have a ball. I'll try it. Ah, uh, the music of yes. There's a catch though. One game costs a cool 20 rupees to play. Still up for a round? Okay, we'll do one round. Aha, play bells are ringing. I gotta set up the pins, but I'll be back in a flurry. You already said that one. You already did that joke. I mean, his head looks like a snowball too, or his afro, I guess. Okay, so uh, the snowball, this is the snowball you'll use. It might not look like much, but it's no joke. If you get two rolls, knock them flat. Do I have to use the thing or should I just push it? You can knock over all 10 pins in one roll. That's a strike. Only the most notorious bowlers can pull that off. A spare is when it takes both tries to finish the job. Not as good as a strike, but nothing to sneeze at. Well, good luck. Can I use the stasis or is that cheating? Um, whoa, whoa, it's rolling away. I didn't even do anything to it yet. Uh, should I just pick it up? I think I should just pick it up and toss it. I mean, can I cheat? Can I just like walk down? I don't know if that'd be super helpful. Well, there it goes. Oh, wait, can I control it? No, I cannot. Excellent. You got how many pins? Uh, zero? Not as easy as it looks, eh, kiddums? But hey, one throw left, make it count. Okay, well, we made a mistake. Now we know. We're gonna knock it out of the park. Uh, take a deep breath and go for broke on your second throw. I don't know if it's gonna be actually worth doing, but I'll try it. Um, wait, hold on. Should I use our big old, wait, hold on. Ugh, I'm going the wrong way. This is all the wrong way. Come on. Ugh, that might go too far, but we'll find out. <gasps> oh, oh, I got one, yay! Knocked over, how many pins, one? With both throws together, you got one. That's easy as it looks, huh? I like it. I got one. I'm just happy I got one. Uh, right, you gotta look at, at your pins and see the ball hitting them in your mind. That's the key to it all. So, what do you think about giving it one more whirl? I lost interest. No problem. I lost. I love the pins too much to ever leave. You bet your snowball I'll be here when you're ready for more. Okay. So I didn't earn anything for that. That's okay. Can I go in your house? I can. Ooh, I was right. Can I sleep in your bed? I can. Sleep until morning. He just won't stop me, okay. I Man, I could be totally dirty. I could be covered in tree sap. Make his sheets just totally ruined. Like, man, why'd you do that? Well, because I lost your game. I, I'm very, very spiteful when I lose. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go ahead and cook a couple more of these. No, that's not what I wanted. Really? <laughs> can I cook in this? I think so. I think it's meant for cooking. Cook, there we go. All right, skip it. I won't do that 
And maybe we'll make a better one, right? Hold, 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 hold. I can only hold three things? No, I can hold four things. It just wasn't quick enough. All right, let's see how that works. That should give us an even one less. Six minutes right there. Okay, we'll leave it with that, I think. That should give us all the time we need. So we're gonna head back out here. Do you have anything like cool behind your house I can steal? Not really. Okay, you don't live a very lavish lifestyle, but I can dig it as long as you're happy. Oh wow, this is pretty right here. Look at this. Quite a view. The clouds in this game are great. Ah, don't walk into the pole. That won't be a good way to start off your morning, Link. I'll be very upset. Okay, uh, well let's keep moving. Don't know what else we're gonna be able to tackle after we get this tower. Maybe we'll finally start tackling some shrines after that. I know I've been talking about it. Maybe it's just finally time. I don't know, some shrines can be such a pain in the booty though. Oh, it's right here. I thought it was up here more. It is not. So, how are the enemies gonna be around here? They're gonna be impossibly tough? Am I gonna have to do some ridiculous schemes to actually get what I'm trying to do done? Probably. Shouldn't expect anything less. But then we can actually, that's right, we wanted to make our way over to where the next Divine Beast will be. We might not be able to completely do it, take out the Divine Beast or get started, but I just wanna get to the area that way whenever we feel we're ready, we can just plop on over there and bing bada boom, we're good. Hmm. Well, I gotta be ready. I don't know what opponents might be waiting for me at the top of this, if any, or maybe this is just like impossible to get to. Look at this. Okay, quickly. I need some more uh, cold resistance, like this one. Eat up. That's another three minutes for me. Herba Tower. So I can't climb this freeziness, can I? I cannot. Can I break it? Not looking like it. Hmm. There has to be a way to get over this. What could it be, though? I mean, I could just try giving it a whop with my... Oh, that's working. I can just hang out near, near here in his melon. Just by the sword being near it. Ah. Okay. So you're telling me if I pull up some wood uh, and some flints. The flint's down here. Hold. And the wood is over here. I should be able to drop this stuff and then, you know, do the typical... I mean, I guess I don't even need the flint, but I don't want to waste a fire sword like that. Uh, I should just be able to, whoop, look at that go! Okay, it's working, it's melting. Okay, is that enough just to hop over? Oh, oh, it is, I made it, look at me! Puzzle solver extraordinaire! Very cool. So, not too difficult of a puzzle, I'll tell you that much, but I'm happy I figured it out. Might be a lesson for later. Not many enemies though, which honestly I find to be a good thing. There is another tower off in that direction, but I think that's actually on the other side of the ravine or something, or the canyon, it's hard to tell from here. I might be able to get a better picture once I get up here. There's that big old bird. Oh, maybe there's maybe there's like a town on top of it. Be cool. I have no idea how I'm gonna get over there then, because I'm having a feeling that this, you know, bird, has something to do with all the bird people. There's gonna be a bird people town, and then we can uh, do something about that. But I'm not sure if there's anything I can do about that, you know? Like, how am I gonna, uh, or maybe it's just like over there. Like, how would I get up there? Uh-oh, it just turned red. Why is that? Does it see me? I'd sure hope not. I am very unsettled at the moment. It was not red before, was it? It's gotten really quiet too. Ooh, that is very unsettling. Okay, I gotta be careful with how I do this, I don't wanna fall. Ready, get a little bit higher, and then jump. Yeah, I made it. Nobody's up here this time. A little lonely at the top, isn't it, Link? That's okay. Hmm. Okay, we're activating this tower. Nothing special with this. We've seen this mountain as well. The mountain has a big old chip out of it. That's the opposite direction we want to go at the moment. I had to like, double check with the map, see where we're supposed to be heading. So I'm not sure at the moment. We're getting a lot of towers though. Like I don't know how many towers are left in the game, but I feel like we've gotten more than there are remaining. You know, I think we're more than halfway there. Well, I can only hope. Hmm. 
But after this, we'll check the map, we'll see where this divine, like, I think the little blip on the map just tells you where the divine beast is. So, when it comes to getting to it and doing whatever I need to do, I'm still figuring that part out. But hey, look at this right here. Very mountainous, as you can see with all the layers there. But that's the edge of the world there, so we are exploring this top half quite well. Like, look at that. It's just a hole in the mountain. Odd. But I don't know, maybe there's, like you can tell there's a shrine here. This is like a giant, oh, maybe these are the bones of the Leviathans. Seems odd to be a, a rock formation. And that seems like it's just too far away. I still can't tell. It looks like it's on the other side of, of the uh, canyon. That one might not be something I get. For now though, it doesn't look like I had them. Do I not have that quest going on? Main quest. Free the divine beasts. Of the Rito or of the Garuda? The Gorons are the other ones. So the Rito are over here. And I think it's just, it's just pointing at that over there. Like the actual bird part. Which isn't too helpful for me. Whoa. Oh, that was my uh, resistance. Okay, well, if things get nasty, I can definitely just end up skedaddling. But for now, I don't want to do no skedaddling. Trying nearby. Where is that trying at? I don't know. I don't quite see it. We just about anywhere. I wanna go to this flagpole, check this out. Can I climb up this thing and maybe jump off of that? Ooh, there's a chest. Seems like it was worth checking this place out. What's in here? Forest Dweller's Bow, 20 times three attack up plus five, what? The Koroks made this bow for Hylians. It's crafted from flexible wood and uses sturdy vines for the bowstring. Its construction may be simple, but it fires multiple arrows at once. Oh, that's the 20 times three. Very cool. Don't know when I'm gonna use that, but I will need a lot more arrows than I currently have to really properly utilize it. So this is where I'm a little confused. Because that's sort of the thing. There were some characters that would tell me about the Goron City. And even after we, you know, like after we took care of what's it called? The uh the elephant one, the people, the water fish people were like, hey, you gotta go to that one next, I suggest. But ever since then I've been sort of just dropped off, you know? I don't know where I'm going. I don't know how to get there. And I like yeah, it's just like how do I get up to you, dude? Where do you even go? Uh or over this, you're, you're this blip. But it's like, okay, I can get under it, but what about all these Rito people? Where are they? Do they live in such a cold area? And Maybe I've been taking this huge detour and it's all been a huge mistake, but hey, look at this, I found the shrine. Uh, oh, this water's too cold. Oh, this water's too cold. Oh, this water's too, I gotta eat. I gotta eat this crab. All right, come on, get up, get up, get up. Oh gosh, why'd I do that? Okay, so I found the shrine. That was a huge issue right there. I might have to teleport back here or something, because I'm not gonna be able to make it out of here in one piece. Oh, oh, perfect. Um, Can I hop on top of that? No, hop on top of it. Wait! Oh, Mifa, thank you, thank you. Get on top, surfing, nice. I hope this doesn't lead to a waterfall. Uh, I gotta be careful. Don't do anything silly, like I already have. Oh my, hope we don't gain any sudden weight. All those apples and peppers go right to our tummy right at this moment. Link's metabolism drops just as that waterfall does. They are really doing this to me. All right, ready? Oh, gotta go, gotta go, got a jet. I made it. Man, does that eat away your health quick. Quicker than anything. Whoa, and it's just not wintery over here anymore. Am I going the right way? I'm going the right way. They just ain't wintering no more. Okay, look at all these dudes. Look at all these dudes. Am I actually gonna be able to take care of them? Maybe, just maybe, if I can hit. Dang it, no, they figured it out. They've pieced me together. Quickly, bomb arrow. Holy cow! Oh my gosh, that was awful. Oh no! He's basically you just you, you destroyed all my friends. What did they do to you? Yeah. Okay, that got him a little bit. Not quite done with you yet, though. Come on, keep jabbing him. 
fire, electricity, you get it all. You get the whole deal. Come on, I don't even know how much his health is. I was just, I just kept swinging. Oh my gosh. Holy cow, the chain effects there, that was crazy. This is, ugh, they all explode, I feel awful. Okay, so, this is also a nice broadsword. So this is actually, yeah, not as strong as this is, so I'll take it. These, these forked boomerangs aren't very powerful, it seems. They're less than 26 damage. So I don't think it's worth taking them. Oh man, I wanna keep this sword because it's what Mifa gave us, you know? That's really cool. I need to figure out how to get a house soon. That'd be helpful. Do need to get rid of some of these shields, I think. Uh, because obviously we have some more powerful ones here. So what is the weakest one we have? 22, we'll pick this one up. And then that one's also the reinforced Lysol shield, right? Yes, okay. Hmm. In the meantime, I can pick up all the horns. Okay, um, well, for now, I'll climb up here and get my reward before I forget. Of course, we could go back to some easier areas, try to stock up on arrows of sapphire. Not too exciting. Well, we're, for now, we're heading this way. Whoa, oh, whoa, my freezing thing went away. I'm not gonna get the long one, because we're about to head out of this freezing area and over to here, which I don't know what we're gonna find here, but I'm certainly gonna try to find it. What in the world is this? Whoa, big sword, Knight's Claymore. How powerful is it? Pretty powerful, better than the Boko Bat. Better than the Flame Sword? Better than the Flame Sword. All right, Boko Bat, your time's up. There we go, Knight's Claymore. How much is it, 38? Okay, cool, I can only have so many weapons for now, so I'll do it what I can with what I have. Wowee, I almost fell down here. I mean, look, there's my log, that could have been me with it. Okay, it's still very cold until I get out of the snow area. It's funny just how the environments just sort of change on a dime like that. There's so many shrines around here too. Holy cow, this might be a giant rock boss or that rock in the floor. We, we've dealt with that in the past. Whoa, what is here, what is here? Windmills, could this be? Nothing quite yet, they're just windmills. All over the place, so there's a giant bridge. There's some kind of tree there, probably just more Bokoblins. Maybe I really should be going for this tower. Maybe I, I chose a huge detour. Oh, was, that's definitely a Bokoblin hideout. This is bizarre. I just don't know where I'm going anymore. This sword's really cool, I like it. This guy is definitely, oh, this thing's gonna fight me. It's so wide open around here for a reason. Can I climb it? I will be so surprised. Oh, oh, I was right, caught it. I don't know how to fight this thing. Why'd I do this? I regret everything. Stone Talus, how do I fight you? Um, ow, not like that, I can tell you that much. Do that again though, do that again, throw your fist. Boom, the, wait, it did not get back. Why not, did I not time it correctly? Uh, I don't know if this is actually doing anything. No, that just badly damaged my bow. How do I fight you, I forget. Um, I might want to, uh, wait for you to like throw it or something? I don't know, maybe I should just skedaddle. I mean, I could try to hop on top of you. I feel like I've done that before. Now I'll just beat you up with the, uh, something like this. So we'll try to skedaddle around you, see if we can't do that. Oh, be careful. Oh, be careful. Come on, around your back. Oh, I need this to fill up. I need to fill up. Whoa, like that, like that. Oh, right there, right there, right there. Uh, wait. Boom! That hurt you, not in it. Hold on, be careful. Go for it, go for it. I got a little bit, get a little bit more. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm right under him, right under him. He is just trying to squish me. Oh, opals, ooh, he's dropping a bunch of great stuff. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh gosh, be careful. Come on, get him. Ah, uh, just barely got that. Oh boy. Oh, come on, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Ooh. Yeah, no, our boulder breaker's badly damaged, that's not good. Uh, here, throw it. Ah, that didn't really do too much to him. I really don't want our boulder breaker to break. Man, that's a shame, what else am I gonna hit him with? I, mean, I could try the, the Moblin Club, I just don't know if it's gonna really help. Come on, come on, come on, get up there, get up there, and then hit this. Oh, yeah, I got him. Okay, you're going down, please don't land on me. You're fine. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and grab all of this, cause why not? Oh, he dropped some rubies too, those sell pretty well, as far as I know. 
I'm a little upset that we damaged our boulder breaker, though. I don't think you get those weapons back. So unless you like put them in your house somehow, I feel like that's gonna be something. If we can figure out, you know, I've said this about everything, about the shrines, about this, about that, but if we can figure out how to uh, just get ourselves set up in this town, whatever, wherever, however, this town is, for the, uh, the bird people, that'd be great. Maybe this is just it, maybe it's just on top of there, no. It's not look correct. But look at this place. That's it. We have found the town of the bird people. That has to be, wait. All right, overhead. Blocking my son almost. Hey, I'm trying to get a tan here. Oh, and there's a horse stable. This is it, all right. Oh, let's try to get over here and on that little thing. Little tower, we can do that. Glad I climbed up here this way then. That's all snowy over there, so if I'm going over there, gotta be ready for that. But there's another shrine in the town. We made it then! We'll probably spend the rest of this episode trying to figure out how the heck you get a house, because that sounds like it'd be awesome. Here, let's just go ahead and, ooh, this is definitely the best way to get this chest, whatever may be inside. It is another fell. No, wait, no, this is our first falcon bow. A highly refined Rito made bow created by a master Rito craftsman. Rito warrior is favorite for its superior rate of fire, which helps them excel even further at aerial combat. I'll try it, but at the same time, I got some really great bows at the moment. Like, maybe I could get rid of the dragon bow and boko bow. Drop. I'll take it. It's not all that worse. Oh gosh, it's about to fall. Goodbye. Hmm. All right, off to the uh, horse stable we go. This is so cool. I'm so glad we got here. So glad I put in the effort, and now we're here. We made it. We made it. Okay, so, I wanna fall, but not quite. Ha ha, oh look, we got more musicians, we got this lady. Hello, do you need a bed? Where am I? <laughs> ha, are you lost or something? This is Rito Stable. We can help you with your horse affairs at the counter outside, or you can stay the night at the inn inside. If you're wondering why it's called the Rito, this place is called the Rito Stable, well, uh, you see that tower over there? We took her name from the Rito people who live there. Oh, great. Awesome, awesome stuff. Music here is fantastic. Because the cast over here. Ah, uh, we meet again. I'm glad to see you in one piece. We're actually very close to my hometown of Rito Village, and I must admit I'm feeling incredibly homesick. I had to leave my wife and children back in the village. I'm sure they're doing just fine. But you see, I cannot go home until I fulfill my promise to my teacher. Promise? My promise to, on second thought, now is not the time. But if I'm able to learn all of the ancient songs, I will tell you of my promise, but back in my hometown. But listen to my, my to me blathering on. I need to focus on my craft. I happen to know a song about an ancient hero who was passed down to me by my teacher. Would you care to hear? I think we've already heard it. I see. Well, do let me know if you change your mind. Anyways, uh. Ooh, I see some more. Are these wild berries? I guess so. I thought they were only glowing in cold climates. Seems pretty normal here, but maybe it gets really cold in the winter. Or maybe it's just because we're so close to the cold area. Just transfers over. Grab some free wood. I could break some of this stuff. Get a helium shroom, some acorn. More importantly, got some arrows there. Look at these beautiful fours. They all got speckled butts. <laughs> That's funny. I need curry rice. The thing about me is I just can't get enough spice in my life. Spicy! I need that Bernie Tingle. I need that curry rice! Now I have a Hylian, Hylian rice on hand, which I need to make curry rice, but I'm fresh out of Goron spice. I just can't run off and leave the stable. If you happen to get your hands on some Goron spice, can you give it to me? Sure thing. Thank you kindly, sunny boy. Curry rice always warms me right up. Do we have it? The Goron spice all right. Hey, can I ask you to part with your Goron spice for say 50 rupees? That's all yours, thank you. With Goron spice and Hylian rice, I'll be able to make some curry rice to warm my soul. Here. Your 50 rupees. 50 rupees, nice. Okay, if you come across more Goron Spice, please bring it to me. Next time, I'll trade you for some Hylian Rice for it. If you add some ingredients to the Goron Spice and Hylian Rice, you can make all kinds of different curry dishes. Try it next time you have some spare ingredients. Hello. <laughs> oh my guy! You are here to do the thing, right? The thing? Come on, you know, the thing! Climbing the snowy mountains. I, I actually just got back from doing that. 
I was confident I could handle the cold, so I didn't wear anything special, but the Herb Heber Mountains are really cold. Like, seriously cold, cold enough to send you, you to your grave, I'd say. So be careful out there, yeah? <laughs> okay, well, I already did it, sorry. I'm very esteemed at climbing things. Falling down them, though. I'm even better at that. World renowned at falling down the mountains. Ooh, what does the sign say? It says, Rito Village, as expected. Okay, I can't wait to get there. Can't wait to just get there, figure stuff out, and then we'll worry about, you know, actually doing things important there later. Hello, your first person in Rito Village, I mean. Good day. Did you need something? Who are you? I am Gazane of the Rito. The Rito, yes. The Rito of Lake Totori, where the men are fine archers and the women better singers. You being a Hylian, I'm surprised you haven't heard that before. You should visit the village if you get a chance. Well, that's why I'm heading here, that's why we're on the bridge. To the place, wow, the bridge here is really nice. This place is really cool. I could take a vacation here and enjoy it, I think. Ooh, look at the water. Oh yeah, the shrine's going off. We know where it is, so it's just a matter of walking up there, and then we'll be able to teleport here whatever we want. It'll be perfect for when we actually need to do anything here. But then we're gonna try to find out, can we get a house in this game? That'd be really great. Uh. Okay, let's keep moving this way. And uh, look around. I don't see too much going on. That's okay. Doesn't seem like we've actually gotten to the village part of the village. We're getting there. Doesn't seem like there's too many people who could live here. It seems like a sort of tiny village, but it also looks very vertical. Oh, whoa! Uh oh! Uh oh! What do we got? Here he is. What's going on now? Whoa! How does the thing stay afloat with little propellers like that? That doesn't make any sense. That is creepy. A gigantic sky chicken. Doesn't even have any propellers on the backside either. Things all sorts of creepy. Wow, okay. I wonder if there's anything on the top of that big old statue part. I don't know, I think it's supposed to be a piece of a mountain then. I don't know, it seems like it's also like the spine of a gigantic monster at some point. Hard to tell. All right, well we're in Rito Village where the giant bird looms overhead. Hello, sir, you are very tall. Everybody's tall in this game except for Link. Hmm, are you a traveler? I'd like to show you around, but now's not really a good time. What's going on? Oh, did you see that beast in the sky? That's divine beast Vamado. It showed up a while back. The Rito warriors flew up to check it out were shot down. They say it used to be a divine being that protected the village, but it doesn't seem to be very divine to me. Thankfully, the thing only shoots at anything flying up high above the village. But still, it is pretty demoralizing for us Rito to have to fly so low to the ground. Any other questions? Where am I? This is Rito Village, but well, you could say we're not in a welcoming mood. Talk to the folks in the village to hear all about it. Any other questions? Can't talk now. Don't let me keep you. All right, well, let's talk to everybody in the village as much as I can. Whoa, the game's getting a little laggy there. Hmm. Yeah, this place is pretty cool. I definitely wanna try to get up to the... Oh, hey, yeah, I can cash in my uh, things here if I needed to. Don't need to just yet. Oh, you, you're sighing? Oh. Hey, what's up? So, have you seen, seen it? Divine Beast Vamado? I saw it. Everyone in the village is freaking out because of it, but I have bigger problems. My mom is so annoying. She asks me to help out the, at the store every single day. I can't take it anymore. I don't want to just help. I want to open my own store and sell whatever I want. Well, you'll get there if you keep working hard. I'm sure about it. Oh, can I break these? Ah, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. I'm not here to hurt you. No, it's okay. I'm not a fugitive or anything. Or no, fugitive, criminal. Two different words. Uh, I'm just trying to get some free arrows while I can. Don't worry, I'm not here to hurt you. Here, hold on. Wow. No, no more arrows. Oh, come on. <laughs> Give me all the arrows you have and I'll, I'll be nice. Oh, what does this say? This place is so beautiful. Swallow Roost, home of the world famous Rito Down Bed. Oh, cool. So yeah, this is a little inn where I can hang out. I'm probably gonna put my weapons away. That might be better than uh, keeping them out. Oh, hey, another traveler. Urgh. Jogo, hey there, good day. You are very skinny. So you're staying in the Rito village too? Yes. 
I see, nice to meet a fellow admirer. I always liked the simple nature of this village. Although I'm starting to regret choosing it as my honeymoon destination. It's really cold here and there's not much to do, so my wife is complaining nonstop. She won't even talk to me right now. Seems like the marriage isn't going very well so far. Oh man, if this doesn't work, she's going to divorce me for sure. I need to make some baked apples to keep my wife happy, but I don't have any flint to start a fire. I can give you some, but honestly, should I? If you're worried about your honeymoon not going well and your wife divorcing you because of a bad honeymoon, you probably shouldn't have married her in the beginning, in the first place. If a simple thing like that going wrong is gonna ruin your marriage, ah, I won't even get into it. The unmistakable, slightly astrid, acrid taste, scent. Uh, you have some flint on you, don't you? Can you sell me a piece? Okay, sure, I got plenty. So thanks, as promised, here's your payment. A hundred rupees, man, you're loaded. All right, now I can make some baked apples. I still need to make some baked apples to keep my wife, ha wife happy, so please bring me more flint. More flint? Okay. Sure. Uh, 10 of those? Hold on, hold on. Oh man, if this doesn't work, she's gonna get the first. Okay, how many, how many flint do I have? Because I can always get more. I mean, I'm not trying to con this guy, but hey, he's gonna give me a good price. 19, okay, I can offer 10. Um, yeah. I'll give you 10. How much, though? Doesn't even tell me a price. It could be totally ripping me. Gonna give me one rupee. 70, not bad. Uh, you'll need to make more baked apple. I, I still need to make more. Uh, bring me a few more and I'll reimburse you. How many more do you need now? Uh, five, okay, sure. I'm not gonna give him any more than that. Thanks, as promised, here's your payment. 30 more. Uh, really, how many do you need? I don't know. I mean, maybe you could just sell him th them forever? Infinitely? A piece. You got me. Thanks, as promised, here's your payment. Five, he's giving me less with each one. I still need more baked. Then why are you asking for one at a time? How many are you gonna ask for now? Okay, sure. Wait, how much did I give him? I don't know. I guess I can only give him one at a time now. All right, well, I just gave him like all of my flint when I said I wasn't going to. I think I just got all caught up. Uh, thanks for stopping by. This is Swallow's Roost, Rito's Village Premier and Only Inn. A standard bed will run you 20 rupees. I mean, I'm, I'm totally willing to do it now. I made a ton of cash, but I would like to save that cash. Well, even though know, she's very tall too. Everybody in this game is tall except for Link. Like even all the other Hylians, which are pretty short compared to the other, you know, races, are like taller than Link on average. I mean, I guess he's supposed to be younger, but Oh, you're a traveler. We just we were just chatting about that monster in the sky, you know, the vine beast Vamado. Turns out that a long, long time ago, that thing was on our side. Oh. Right, a long time ago, the champion of Rito Village, Rivali, tamed that beast and used it to protect the village, according to the elder, at least, and I believe him. Uh. So the story goes, but why did they start attacking us now? I don't wanna know. Well, I mean, I guess I do got, I got, I gotta know, because I'm gonna beat that thing up. Uh, hello. Welcome. Welcome to the Slippery Falcon, the legendary Rito General Store. You look beat, working hard, eh? Was there something you needed? Uh, I mean, I can check out what you have here. We got some Tabantha wheat, cane sugar, good butter. Oh, bomb arrows, 200 for seven of them. And some normal arrows. Hmm. How many? You got three. That'd be 60. I'll take them all. Three of them? That'd be 60 rupees. You got it. All right, that was uh, 15 arrows. Very pricey. Okay, so uh, there's that done. What about over here? Hopefully some of these will cough up either more arrows or more rupees. That'd be great, because then make some back on my investment. Ooh, armor, warm clothes. Hey, thanks for coming out so late. Brazen Beak is open 24 hours. What can I do for you? Looking to sell. <laughs> what are you looking to sell? Oh wait, no, I'm not looking to sell. Never mind. Uh, what do you have here? Snow quill trousers, Dorito, ah, no! <laughs> I'm gonna blow this place up. No, I'm not gonna do that. No, I didn't mean to do that. I just wanna see the thing. Uh, snow quill trousers, Dorito sell these trousers to Hylians in Rito Village. The inside is lined with Rito feathers so they excel at retaining body heat. Ooh, more cold resistance. Snow quill tunic, 
lined with melted Rito feathers. This tunic was made by Rito artisans for Hylians visiting cold climates. The feathers are stacked in each layer to retain body heat, and then same thing with the snow cool headdress. A Rito accessory made for Snowbird from Snowbird feathers. It's a, adorned with a ruby, a gem that harnesses the power of fire to make cold climates more tolerable. Very, very expensive stuff here. Uh, I don't know why the headpiece is a thousand. It sounds like it'd be fun just to complete all the uh, sets like that, all the uh, clothing sets, but not only something I'm too worried about. And then, oh, there's his children sleeping in here. If only dad were here. Oh, they're so sad. They're all crying. And most of them are sleeping. Okay. Well, that one's just awake. He's so upset, I feel so bad. I guess it is nighttime. Uh, hello. Traveler, who do you usually cook for? Myself. I hope that wasn't too personal a question. When I cook din dinner, it's for my daughters. I sometimes wonder what the future holds for this village, for my family. My thoughts tend to grow a bit dark then, but they lighten as soon as I satisfy my hunger. So go ahead and use the pot. A full stomach will do you well. well aren't you nice? Thanks. Oh, what's over here? Oh, it's a ladle. Soup ladle, a kitchen implement used often for serving delicious soups. It was carved from the wood of a sturdy tree, so it actually packs quite a wallop. That is hilarious. Do I have it, or did, oh, I left it there on the table. That is funny. I wanna hit somebody with the, with the ladle. I would really find that one to be an, an enjoyable fact. I like how there's these little flying ducks. You can just jump off of here and start flying if you were a Rito. Rito, I think it, I think that's how it's pronounced. Oh, let's definitely break these ones. I'm gonna go back to the sword for now. I got two of these, I can afford to lose them. Most of them don't have anything, but even if I find one that has, you know, some arrows in it, it's worth all the effort. So I'll go to the shrine last, because after that we're getting out of here. Hmm, oh, hello. Are you okay, you look injured. Ow, ugh, welcome, ow. What's the matter? No offense, but this is not your concern. That cursed monster. So I guess the thing up there hit him. Are you okay? Hello. Aren't you going to say good morning to me? Uh, yeah. I'm not ready to say good morning yet. All right, well, good night. Anything over here? Just more of a jumping area. Very cool, so I could glide that way. But I mean, at that point, I mean, I'm facing, oh, different location than I thought. So I'm facing this way. Okay. Then what is, that is, oh, that's over here. I have found that tower? Way over here? Hold on, that doesn't make any sense. Why is that tower blue? Blue means I have found it. No, it's over that way now. Why was he pointing? That's confusing. Okay, well, don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna go up here and uh, talk to the rest of the people before we get to that shrine. It still goes up and up. See, there's actually a lot of people here. Can I help you? What's wrong? Never mind, forget it. Wow, not much one for conversation. That's okay. Oh, whoa, big guy, you're like an owl, hmm. Ah, a visitor, welcome to, oh, oh, that object on your hip, could it be? Forgive me, where are my manners? I am Canelli, elder of Rito Village. Now then, is that not a chic of slates dangling from your hip? That's right. Oh my, so it is true. That means you must be a champion like Master Rivali, one of the few able to board the divine beast Vamado. No, what am I thinking? The champions have all been dead for a hundred years. This boy must be a mere descendant, an inheritor of the secret Sheikah Slate. Ah, forgive me. Champion descendant, if you would listen to this old man's request, you would have my eternal gratitude. I'll listen. Thank you, truly. Now that I have your have the blood of a champion, now that I know that you have the blood of a champion, there is something I must ask of you. How shall I put this? I would like you to deal with the divine beast Vamado, the giant beast circling above us. Only a chosen one, a champion, can stop a divine beast. You must enter the beast and bend it to your will. I tried to explain this to the more headstrong Rito warriors, but they wouldn't listen to reason. Teba and Harth tried to confront Mado, but it did not go well, and Harth was injured. Teba escaped unscathed, but I fear he now plans to face Mado alone. As a descendant of the champions, perhaps you can help us. Please, find Teba. If you work together, you may be able to stop Divine Beast Vamado. 
Will do. Divine Beast Baba Dome. Got anything else to say? Ho ho ho. He reminds me of some other Zelda characters. <laughs> it would be funny if he's like, would you like to hear that again? If you mean to help us, then allow me to fill you in on the particulars. Who is Teba? Or Teba. Teba is a warrior of Rito Village. He lives right next door to my humble abode. He's the one who decided to confront Divine Beast Vamado. He set off alongside another villager named Hearth. Unfortunately, Hearth was shot down by Mado and had to retreat. This defeat only made Teba more determined. I fear he has set out to face Mado by himself. As you can see, Mado is still flying about up there. I hope Teba is okay. Teba's wife, Saki, may be able to tell you more about his whereabouts. Is there something else you wish to know? Who's Master Ravali? Master Ravali was a fierce warrior from Rito Village who died 100 years ago. According to the stories, he flew like the wind itself and weirded a bow twice his own size with ease. His skill was recognized by King Roam and he was entrusted to control Divine Beast Vamado. Master Ravali lost his life while piloting the Divine Beast during the great battle with Calamity Ganon. What could have happened inside Divine Beast Vamado a hundred years ago to kill such a celebrated warrior? Is there something else you would like to know? Mado? Did you perchance see the giant bird up there soaring high above the village? That is Divine Beast Vamado. The Divine Beasts, our misbegotten inheritance from the ancient Sheikah, created eons ago to defeat Ganon. In an ironic turn of events, the Divine Beasts were taken over by the same evil force they were created to defeat. But that was a hundred years ago. To think that the Divine Beast would suddenly reappear and begin attacking innocent people. Could this foretell the return of Ganon? Is there something else you would like to know? Nope. You descendant of the champions, please stop Mendo and help Teba. I will, don't worry about it. Oh, and that's the end of the line, cool. I got myself an extra six arrows, that's what I was looking for. Okay, whoa, be careful. I'm gonna go get the shrine, and then I'm gonna probably do a quick Google search to see if I can't find out uh, how to uh, earn up a house, if that's even possible in the game right now, because that's something I wanna do. Like, some of these weapons, like, I hold on to them, not because I wanna use them, because I wanna keep them, because they're nice. You know, I get them for defeating the uh, divine beasts. But maybe I shouldn't. I mean, actually, why'd I go down there? It's not what I wanted. Oh no, okay, I haven't gone down yet. Do I have to activate them to teleport them? Have I been? I've been making that mistake all the way through. Oh boy, well, I've been getting towers. Totally forgot about that. All right, well, now I know, no biggie. Uh, yeah, so I will be right back. I'll try to find out if we can't get a house in this game, because I'm pretty sure you can. Okay, so we're at Hatino Village because that is where we can buy a house. Now, I don't know anything else about it. I don't know how much it'll cost or even who I talk to. Well, actually, no, I did see a picture of who I talked to. I just don't remember what he looks like. I already forget. But I'll look around. The only problem now is it's a little too late at night. So maybe I could wait around. Maybe I could sit by this fire. I can. Let's wait until noon. That would be helpful. Uh, but yeah. I will look for somebody. I think he had like a scarf or something. I don't know, I didn't remember any of the details. So I'm just trying to do it quickly so I could get back to recording this video. Uh, so I'll look for him. I don't know where he could be, but I, I figured I'd just run around until I see faces and do what I can about them. I mean, there are houses over here. Maybe I should check out these houses first. I mean, they could also be inside. I really don't know where it could be. Nobody's in this one. Maybe these houses are up to buy. Maybe these are the houses I could buy. Oh, let's check out over here. Hmm. I don't think I've been over here before, so. Who are you? Oh, are you working on this house? Yes, you are. Maybe this is it. Hello there. Another day, another rupee. What are you doing? Working, as you can see. This old house has been abandoned. Everyone in Hatina Village agreed we should demolish it. The old owner apparently went off to the castle to report for service. Never came back, never wrote, so away it goes. I'd buy this place. Well, I'm not really into real estate, so I can't really help you out there. If you're really interested in this place, then you have to talk to the boss. Where's the boss? Are you the boss? Oh, you're the boss. Oh, you didn't even have a scarf. Hey, need something from me? Uh, what are you doing? In case it's not obvious, I'm demolishing a vacant house. Times are rough, not all buyers, you know? So the villagers decided it was best just to tear it down. I could buy it. Oh. 
Whoa, get a lo load of young, a load of young money bags. Just wants to buy it, huh? You just said times were rough. Not a lot of buyers. Do you want one or not? Okie do. Let me lay it out for you. See this house? Been vacant for years, so the villagers had a meeting, argued, voted, and decided to tear it down. Demol demol demolition cost with associated fees, permits, and other such details comes in at 50,000 rupees. Are you kidding me? So when you say you want to buy it, you're talking about 50,000 rupees. You got that much on you? I don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Figured. When I was your age, I had serious money problems too, so I know how it feels all too well. All right, all right, look. Here's the deal, just for you, I'll cut this, uh, cut, cut you for a special price of 3,000, that sounds more like it, but in return, I'm going to need you to bring me 30 wood bundles, building materials, you know how it is. Anyway, you understand the terms, then get to it, and show me what you're built out of. That's a construction joke. <laughs> all right. Hudson, Carson, stop what you're doing. You got it. So 3,000 rupees. I have about 1,000, maybe if I sell some stuff. And when it comes to wood bundles, how much do I have of that? Uh, uh, let's see, 26, I almost got it. Can I break this down? Oh, I can, this will be another one right here. Maybe a couple, I don't really know. Good thing I've been taking these whenever I see them. Okay, that was two, I need to get another one now. I need to find a tree I can actually knock down now. Uh, or maybe I could break this. Maybe I can't break this. Uh, let's see, maybe I could break it with, bah! No, you just can't break this at all. Okay, well I mean, I could, there's tons of places in this game I can go for extra tree trees. I just wanna see if I can't do it easily from somewhere around here, I probably can. And be, oh, they're just hanging out here now, that's great. I might steal that ax though, I gotta be honest, with that hammer. Not a very big home, but it doesn't really need to be. No basement or anything. Okay, cool. Wait, oh, oh, there's something up here. What is that about? I don't know. <laughs> That's weird. I don't care though, because I just want to be able to put some weapons there. Hopefully you can do that. I don't know if I'll have to buy those too. Jeez, that might actually be a pain in the booty. Well, for right now, I'm gonna have to find a store. Is there any kind of a general store around here? That is the general store. So we're about to get there, so that's good. Wee. <laughs> All right, I love areas like this in the game too. This is a lot of fun. So I'm gonna go into here and see if I can't sell just a bunch of my rocks. Welcome! Yeah. Hey, so what can I do for you? I have things to sell. All right, let's take a look here. Uh, so yeah, well for general store, you don't buy too much of the things I was hoping you'd buy. Uh, 210, 180, that is a lot of money. That'd be almost 2,000 right there. I guess, I don't know if that's a good price or not. I mean, okay, no, the, 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 uh, the fangs and stuff are here. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have sold all of them, but I did, and I can sell a couple of these too. Uh, I could sell, I have 34 of them, so let me sell 10 of them. See if that can't get me 88 rupees, pretty good. Uh, 72 of these, how much do they sell for three each though? That's not super crazy. Uh, 25 each, 12 each, 10 each, 15 each. Uh, if I could just sell four of these, I have a lot of them. Four of them will get me over 3,000. Okay, so now I'm just looking for log bundles. I don't think you have any, do you? I don't need them. Let's not be wasteful. There are, he does sell arrows though. For the average price, nothing crazy. Are there any trees around here I can knock down? Can I just knock down any tree? Bah, yes I can. Nice, okay, so break that. I got myself my last piece of wood. No wait, I needed two. Darn it. Okay, we'll go over here. I don't know what these kids are doing, they're playing hide and seek. Do you have a quest? Hey! Hey mister, did you come from the big wild world? You look like you're good with a bow and sword, so you must be pretty strong, are you strong or what? Yeah, I am. I bet you can use all sorts of different weapons, right? So, do you wanna help a kid's dream come true? My Gramps is dead now, <laughs> but when he was alive, he loved weapons, so he never got to see all the ones he wanted. So you bring me weapons and show them to me, and then I can tell Gramps about him when I meet him again, okay. Yeah, I know you do it. Hmm, where should we start? Have you heard of the Traveler Sword? I've seen it before, but never in real life before. If you find it, please let me see it. I feel like I've had that before and I've probably just used it. The Weapon Connoisseur. Very cool. That's an interesting challenge, I like that one. All right, get that wood, that should be all 30. All right, so our condition has been met. I should definitely try to get more wood now while I have the chance though. That'd just be helpful. 
Uh, let's go ahead and boop. Oh wait, no, don't climb it. Knock it down. Get these apples as much as I possibly can before they fall in the water. I don't think they disappear from falling in the water. This is inconvenient. Okay, got that piece of wood. So now we should have 31. That way I'm building up a collection again. Can I break these? I can, I get an arrow and a helium room. The arrow is the more important thing. How are you? I'm gonna talk to this lady, and then we're gonna go back. Hmm, good day. You're a traveler, aren't you? Then listen up, what is it? You see those trees over there up on top of the snowy mountain there? Yes. I found a small letter stuck between the pages of this old book at my house. It said, when the, the, the three summit trees become one, you turn your back to them and head towards the sea. A trial encased in stone awaits you there. I don't know what that means. But maybe it means we have to head to Afram, Aframzia Coast, which is east of the, those three trees on the mountain. For the trial encased in stone bit, I wonder if you get some kind of tre treasure for doing that. But I have a child, I just can't go off on a journey across the mountains. Well, you can do that, right? You'd be a, you'd be great at that. Go on, head out there and bring us back that treasure. Interesting. So I'm guessing they mean, where are those, where, where, where was that at? That was over this way. So east of here. Yeah, I guess maybe, like I know that way up here, there was this crazy thing. Still don't know much about that. Apparently there was another one of those over here. Oh, right here. What is with these mazes? I don't know if I should be doing these or not. Interesting stuff. But um, I have everything I need to get a house, so why don't we get a house? That'd be awesome. Okay, so uh, yeah, we just gotta head this way. Come on, come on, keep running, everybody. I can't run out of stamina, though. I mean, I can run out of stamina, I just don't want to. Then I start walking, and that just slows me down a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and break these, though. Ready? Whoop. Nothing, not a single thing in those pots. Wait, don't, I didn't mean to do that, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, you guys okay? I think everybody's fine. <laughs> I blew up that guy's store, but just don't tell him. Maybe he won't notice. Ah, uh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, this is, uh, he's got a Jenga tower for a pillar on his home. These are really nice houses. Why can't I buy one of these? A, this place is very homey. Ooh, oh, that's just a, a, a stool. I thought it was a chest. Yeah, I want one of these places. This place is great. Why can't I live here? <laughs> Oh well, beggars can't be choosers, right? I really want a house. So I'm getting this one. Okay, so hey guys. Oh, it just started raining the moment I got off that cliff. Uh, hey. You ready to deliver 30 wood bundles? Uh, I'll pay your price. Okie do. I'll grab them for you, or from you. Here you go, 30 of them. All I need to see, good faith wood. You're obviously serious about this, now, now, now I know it. So as promised, I'll sell you this old house for the low price of 3,000 rupees. Once you've got the money together, come grab me. I got it. Uh, hi! Did you get the 3,000 rupees? I'm ready! Seriously? You're really gonna give me 3,000 rupees, like, with three zeros? You aren't just posturing? I'll show out. No way! Talk about studly. I'll just take that off your hands. All right. We're down to 33 rupees. Thanks for the sweet investment. Spending so much money on anything at your age is just so studly. There's a weapon mount in there that never sold. Consider it a housewarming gift. Hope you get some use out of it. Uh, so next job time, baby. What I what 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 I have lined up again? Oh yeah, that's what's next. I was going to send Hudson up to Akala way way to clear some land. Okay. Hi. I asked Hudson to clear some land in Akala region. Clearing land? Yep, business expansion, you know? I'll probably have him head out soon. If you want to say anything to Hus Hudson, better catch him before he leaves. Who's Hudson? Hudson. Yeah? What are you doing? Taking a break. He's got a big head. Oh my gosh, I thought that was a helmet. It's just his hair. By the way, did you buy that house? Yes. Impressive, you're just a pup. Uh, come again? Don't worry about it. Anyway, what? Looks like I've gotta head out and leave this place soon. Why? I have been transferred. Transferred? <laughs> Might have heard, but Bolson Construction is planning to expand big time. That's great. Yeah, big expansion. Where will we go? Zora's Domain is north of here. We're gonna go, we're going north of that though. An area called Akala region. That's pretty far. Yeah. Well, good luck. 
Okay then. Neither of us seem to be much of conversation. Well, no time with the present, right? I should be getting my going my by that blah, blah, blah. If you'd like, you should come to the Akala region and say hello. Well, take care of yourself. See ya. Why is this so emotional? Was I supposed to know Hudson? <laughs> they play this off like he's been a main character. <laughs> I just met him two minutes ago. From the ground up. Oh, there's only one weapon thing? Oh, that's a shame. Display, not that one. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and display this one real quick. And where can I get other weapon displays? I don't know, that might, be have, that might have to be something I find out another time. But it looks cool, look at that. Oh, I like it. So is anybody else who's gonna bust into my home or anything? Oh, you guys disappeared for a moment. Hi, so the both of us are hit a personal milestone, huh? Time to kick back and get leisurely, baby. Though you look a bit judgmental for such a fine moment. You're looking at me like we shouldn't both be, bo should both keep working at it. <laughs> you don't even have to say it. Oh wow, I just bought a house and it's totally empty and depressing. Oh sure, that's you to a T. I see it in your eyes, yep. I, would, I was just like you about a lifetime ago. So tell you what, let me help you by taking care of your furniture or the exterior or anything really for 5,000 rupees. Actually, no, scratch that. For you, let's start at 100 rupees. Just cruise on by whenever you have the spending cash, we'll talk. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> Didn't realize we weren't quite done, should have sold a little bit more. Ay, ay, ay. That's fine. I have stuff I can sell that'll get me over that amount, as long as the guy's there to sell. Let's hope we, I'm coming to get you. Excuse me. Okay, he's open. Welcome, I am going to sell. I have things to sell. Uh, I mean, I can sell you anything, really. But uh, what might be worth selling for now? I mean, I could just, I have 70 of these, I really, you can stew it with critters to make elixirs, but it may have some other uses as well. I was gonna sell it, for, like sell 20 of them. I have, I'll have 50 left over, no, no. Uh, I wanna do 20. Cause that'll give me a good couple. I keep on doing that. Like, I keep on thinking the all of them button is a confirm button, but it's not. Well, there's 300 rupees, that should work. I like how the, uh, oh my gosh, calls up. I like how the house selling guy though, oh, sorry lady, is always trying to scam us, but you know, it's 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 that kind of hit you with the big offer and then settle for less, but that less is probably what it's worth, or maybe it's not even worth that much. Typical, typical. I like these houses so much more though. These little building block homes seem really cool. Nobody lives in them. What's the deal, why can't I get one of those? I mean, probably can, for 10,000 rupees. Okay, well, hey-o, hi, need something from me? Build me something, what you want? Gear displays, installations, house exterior, gear displays. What kind of mount? Weapon mount, that'll be 100 rupees. Oh, it's 100 rupees each, yikes. Okey-doo, payments are due up front. Okay, well, I just need to hang up the other weapon, so that should be fine, and then we're done with all that. Totally done. Mm -hmm. Okie doke, house, house is coming in for you. All right. Oh no, house, I'm coming for you. Oh. Carson, we are on. Ah. Right on. Okay, just him and Carson. <laughs> Couldn't take them too long, it's just one weapon out, right? <laughs> They're really at it. Okay, pa practically perfect, if I do say so myself, I'm a little jealous. All right, I'll go check it out. Thank you for your time. Look at that. Oh, it's, it's sort of the opposite. Maybe they put it on upside down? Maybe that's just how it's supposed to be. Anyways, boulder breaker goes there. There we go. So there we go, I have a cool stand for my weapons. Very, very exciting. The oh, protection is the roof protection's back, more. very cool. Uh, but yeah, I think that's about where I wanna wrap it up. We've done a fantastic job getting our house and just having a place to put these weapons. Uh, that's really all I wanted from that, is just a place to put those weapons I really don't wanna see break. I mean, like, like maybe eventually we could put the Great Flame Blade there, cause gosh darn, that is cool, right? Uh, but for now, I think that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Hey, that was a frog. If I just put a video, make sure you comment Zebra Frog, so you watch at the end of the you are a Zebra Tassie viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing and join the Zebra Herd. On the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.